Space Culture artists, um, whose project will be coming up mid-year this year. Amy.
to do was um, being in Melbourne, what I'd kind of noticed about cities was that obviously they don't, they're not a kind of a, a single entity. They have suburbs or often satellite cities. And, um, and a metropolis, you know, to, to be a great place requires people moving into it sucks kind of energy from other smaller cities or suburbs or communities around it. And the same with Wellington as a creative capital, it's only kind of that because we often, you know, require resources and people and ideas to come from other places. And so I thought about a city that wasn't Wellington but was close to it and that was the Hutt Valley. And so I decided I would go out to the Hutt Valley and try and think of an idea um, from there. So, and what immediately struck me as soon as I compared Wellington and the Hutt Valley was that um, geographically Wellington is based around a harbour and the Hutt Valley is based around a river. So I went out to the Hutt and spent some time in the river and kind of thought about um, that and spent some time with a librarian and what, um, what he talked about immediately with the river was how much it floods and that the whole Hutt Valley is flat because it's a floodplain. I became interested in this idea of a flood as something that could be recreated, especially or brought back to Wellington. It's something that occurs often in the hut, um, but is you know maybe not doesn't occur so often in Wellington, but also something that is um, going to become it's kind of a threat that uh, will become increasingly present with things with climate change and kind of fears that kind of build up environmental fears. Um, in saying uh, that I'm a bit, you know, the idea of a work of art is a bit boring. Obviously I spent I spend so much time in the city that I do notice little things that happen all the time and I'm very interested in small changes. Um, this image uh, is a few years old but it was just um, a slip of dirt that had been placed on the steps of the museum, um, the old museum on Buckle Street, just as a way to get a digger up to a different building site. So it was a pre-existing kind of ramp that I just, uh, yeah, I like, like that idea. So, and this was uh, another um, image that I created, just thinking, just thinking about these forms. I was interested to go back into my old archive and find that I've been thinking about floods for a while. So, um, the other kind of thing I thought about once I brought that idea of flood back and decided that I would situate it in Wellington, I thought about how what does change in Wellington and other kind of environmental changes that you see occurring with weather and slips is one of them and something that will probably become more frequent is weather becomes more extreme. Um, a rather pompous man once said to me like, oh, New Zealand was such a, a young country, I, you know, when our land is, you know, in its, you know, primary, primary state, not like the European villages that has been on rock for thousands of years. And he had this idea that because we were so young, things would crumble, crumble about us, whereas European villages steadfast it would be fine on the top of the rock mountains. So yeah, just and thinking about uh, kind of floods of soil and just also this very minimal 